There was a burly woodman once, a man of common regard. He stood six feet and six or more, his shoulders spanned a yard. Daily he toiled from morning to dusk, minding the forest game, and they tell me that he even knew every tree by name. One autumn eve when work was done, t'was time for home he was sure. An eerie gloaming mist came down, he soon felt insecure. He stopped in his tracks at the screech of a fox, or was it a woman's cry? And then what was that strange light he saw in the corner of his eye? The woodman's wife was there at home, a table she had laid. They supped on hot potatoes and a cottage pie she'd made. He told her about the spectre he saw, that strange phenomenon. He said, when we go to bed, we'll leave the land and light on. His wife did laugh and scorn You're too foolish by half So you saw a banshee in the woods Ha! Please don't make me laugh Listen to you, a grown man like you She went ahead with her deride So the poor woodman he sloped off to bed With his hatchet by his side And he lay there, simply waiting, with his eyelids getting heavy, and resisting sleep no longer. He had nightmares from the start. There were zombies and ghouls, goblins and demons, bogeymen, vampires and freaks from the deep. He tossed and he turned and he shouted aloud in his fitful and violent sleep. The most hideous beast you ever saw With putrid green and wrinkled skin Then the monster turned its head towards him With a wicked and menacing grin The woodman then took up his and swung it along He brought it down square on the foul creature's head Chop after chop, again and again Until he was perfectly sure it was dead Then the poor woodman he slumped to the floor at the bottom of the bed After a while he woke again, and dawn was breaking at last. The woodman's wife was in the bedroom doorway, looking aghast. Feathers and down all over the room, good gracious me, said she. So whatever happened to my pillow? your cup of tea.